Two early runs right away in the first, then it became a little tough to scratch things across after that. Yeah, um, yeah, he settled in. You know, he, he, we all know he's good enough to do that. We took advantage of uh, a few misfires early. Uh, you know, Polanco jumping on one for a homer. Um, I think he limited us only one hit after that, and that was a kind of the swing and bunt down the third baseline. Uh, yeah, so we, you know, we didn't generate much until uh, put another run up, a couple runs up late. Um, you know, Kyle's had a lot of good days. Probably won't categorize today as one of them. Um, I think he fought himself a little bit in terms of command and maybe overthinking a few pitches. Had some guys that he had he got ahead of, but he couldn't finish. And uh, you know, the home runs. You know, the, the three-one homer, and then uh, Anderson was cheating on one inside, and he got it. And then uh, Engel. You know, that was the one I, I'm sure he'd like to have back because I think he had him set up for something towards the dirt, but he got too much to the plate. So th those were the big hits of the game. And that fifth inning for Gibson just couldn't find a way out? A little bit of everything that inning, you know. Um, threw a lot of pitches. I, I think it was close to 40, if I'm not mistaken. So, yeah, we were trying to give him a chance how uh, best we could to, to try to get through it. Um, you know, uh, put Delmonico on after he fell behind 3-1 and one with the open base. And Davidson did a good job of coming back again from 0-2 and, and poking a slider in the left field. So. Kyle's become, I mean, same workload as last year and way fewer home runs, I think six – yeah. Seven fewer home runs, almost surprising to see it. the way he's gone. It's been so good. Yeah, uh, you know, you, unpredictable in this of our game and how that's going to flow. I think, you know, better stuff, better confidence, better a lot of things are going to lead to less homers. Um, but, you know, today he got bit a little bit by the long ball. He started the game struggling to find his own, although yeah. it seemed tight for everybody in the first inning. Was, was he off from the beginning or was it just tight in the, in the first for both sides? And uh, I, I, I thought it, you know, it's hard to say. I, there were some close ball, uh, close pitches for Radon, too. I think he was a little bit, um, you know, confused by what the zone was early. You know, Gibby's pitches, uh, I, I would imagine most of them were called the way they were supposed to be. You know, you throw, what, seven in the first eight or whatever it was, and we got caught stealing and almost had a chance to um, get off with about a 10 pitch inning, even with three strikes and seven balls or whatever it was at that particular point. Uh, but he ended up throwing 20 21 to get out of the first. What, uh, was Forsyth maybe peeking, trying to get the double play in the fifth? Not sure. Looked like he got a little bit in between, hopped it, jumped up on him, and uh, got more arm, I think, than glove. And Garver on that, on that weird play, the rundown play, what's, what, what do you want him to do at, at that point? Uh, we made the right play, given the score, to, to try to cut the run off. You know, double play, possibly, but I didn't want to give up the point there. Um, just. Didn't handle the relay. I mean, excuse me, the rundown as as cleanly as we should. I, you know, we get the guy going back to third and potential two runners occupying the base. But uh, when they when they release, you know, you still got to find a way to get it out. And we held on to the ball. Talked yesterday about the power surge that the team has had, but um, what does it mean to the team when you have a guy like Forsyth producing without a lot of power? Well, we talked about it, in Minnesota. I, I think that today's game, you know, the, the power and the strikeout combination that's Seems to be prevalent across the board, um, but I think every team, every manager, every lineup can use guys that can take good at bats and get you two out hits and fight with two strikes and those type of things. He's done a nice job of that so far.